Hey everybody, this is the Slick Effect here, and today I decided to show you guys a map that I've been working on for like a while, actually like about a month ago. So, it's the Six Flags Magic Mountain map. Uh, I started working, on, again I started working on this a month ago, but I haven't really paid attention to it much. I was working on this map for like, I think... A couple weeks ago or two weeks ago and then I started paying attention to it actually I started paying attention to it like a week or two weeks ago like like right after and I don't know I don't know in the beginning I was like oh, I didn't think I was gonna finish this map. I was like oh I'm not gonna finish this map it's gonna be way too large I'm never gonna finish this map but I don't know for some reason I really wanted to finish this map because I recently like there's been a lot of videos on YouTube about like other maps on Six Flags, but they weren't really on the 360 console. It was like it was like just PC and mods and all that stuff. So I decided to make one just because I don't know. And this one's gonna be a this one's gonna be a full scale map. So let's load this thing up. It's gonna be um it's gonna be very big actually. It's gonna be a really large map. So let's load this up and see what we got so far. Alright, um this this area right here is the entrance. This is the entrance of the park. And right here we have our booths, our ticket booths right here. You can buy tickets. Here right here we have the logo itself. Six Flags Magic Mountain. And over there, I'll show you guys that area later on in the video. So, yeah, let's get to it. The progress I made in this map took quite a while to make, even though it's just, um, this is just, um, right now this is going to be part one. Part one of, I don't know how many parts they're going to be. Hopefully it's a series. I don't know, it depends on you guys if you want to keep watching this. So yeah, this is part one. Uh, update one. So, yeah, let's get into it. These are the main entrances to the doors, metal detectors, and but right now we're going to go through the exit since those doors are closed right now. Um, this area right here is like the gift shop area where you can buy like uh, souvenirs and all that stuff. You know, take uh, they take your photos. Yeah, for this for this area, I just decided to make like um what are these things called again? I decided to make these doors or these kind of these kind of gate fences. So I don't know. I think it was just easier to put in those, so you can just get in. And this area right here, I just I, d I designed these trees myself. These are custom made trees, and I add a little vines to it just to make it look a little better. These are just custom made trees because the actual trees you make they're kind of fat. I mean, these ones I made with just bone meal. I just like planted a tree there and then put then in. Just made it with bone meal, just so it can go faster. Like it's easier to just easier to do this than just to build a tree. These ones I just built. They didn't even take that long. They were custom made. Made them small so they can just fit in in the environment. So yeah, this this building right now it's empty. Well, actually, all the buildings are empty right now because they take quite a while just to make the buildings themselves, the flooring, windows. So, yeah, I would show you all the buildings, but really there's nothing in them. So, yeah, let's continue on. Right, let me just show you an overhead view of the whole map. This is what it's going to look. Well, it's not what it's going to look right now. Well, right now it looks like this. Since there's going to be more updates in the future, I'll show you, hopefully I'll show you guys some more updates. Well, actually I will, because I'm really dedicated to finishing this map. So, hopefully you guys will keep watching. So, yeah, moving on. This is the entrance, the main entrance of the park, actually. This is the actual, and I think it's kind of strange how Magic Mountain would have just this area right here. Be like the gift shop entrance and souvenir entrance, and then have the main entrance of the park off to the side. It's kind of weird, but I guess it is what it is. Still looks nice. This is the main entrance, so you just use those doors and that's the exit. 
Um, these buildings, all these bu again, all these buildings are empty. There's nothing in them right now. I just made them like that. And yeah, this is like a plaza area where you can just like buy souvenirs and and gift shops and all that stuff. Restaurants, restrooms. I think those are the. Oh yeah, over there's this area right here. This area is the picnic area. I'll show you guys that one later on. What do we have over here? Over here, these are the lockers where you can store all your stuff when the uh, guests come into the park. And yeah, this is the main area of the park where you can see pretty much every single ride from this. Well, not all the rides in the back you can't really see, but like the rides from like all around here you can see in this area. I made a little map. Like, I used like, an item frame and I just put a map in there so just so we can see where we're at. Because I know I noticed there's a lot of these maps around the park. So yeah. This area right here is like the fountain area. It's not going to look like this. I just like needed to make sure how it looks like. I'll make it even better in the next update. So yeah. And these buildings. Some of the design on these buildings are are very simple, mainly because I didn't really I didn't really want to keep like making different designs for because this one this one I made a different design on it because I just thought it would look cool, but it's it's time consuming. I mean I just rather make a simple roof. Who's gonna look at the roof when you enter the park? I mean you're gonna be walking. So yeah. Again, this is a map. This right here is where all the ride names are going to be at, so you can go in different directions just to find the ride. And I think these are other gift shop areas. I think this is where you like buy your photos and all that stuff. This over here, this is the the Mary Ground, I think it's called. I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember. I remember specifically one of these things being here. So I just built it right there. It's not. It's not how it's actually going to look like. I just needed a template. Just to see how it's gonna look like, I'm probably gonna move it a little further over there because I remember it being like right in the middle of where this path is at. So, yeah. And these these are more restrooms. Actually, these these restrooms I did fill in. I don't know. I decided to fill them in. They're just a bunch of stalls and sinks. And the trash can, nothing in them. I just put like a, a white seat in there for a toilet. I think this is the women's restroom. Yeah. Over there's the men's. It's basically the same thing, except this one has urinals and, you know, manliness stuff. Moving on. Oh, another map I put right here, because I remember specifically there's another one over here. And more ride names. Put them right next to them. I'm going to... Constantly be doing that around the park because I don't feel like just putting ride names without a map, so I just think it'd be easier to do that. And these trees, even though I used bone meal for these trees, it just took quite a while just to put them there. These these bushes, I didn't use bone meal. These took the most to make for the trees. These I just made bushes like customly. I just put them randomly everywhere. And it took quite a while just to make these. So yeah. I'm going to go over to this area. I haven't showed you this area over here. Some more trees and all that stuff. There's, I remember right next to the uh, fountain area, there's a, there was a little gift shop area where you can buy stuff. Right next to the full throttle. This is this is the full throttle theme right here. The area where they have all the tables and chairs. I'll add those later. Actually, I put some right here. Just to start. Some tables and chairs and, you know... Umbrellas. I put a little grass area right there. So right now this is again this is a, a full throttle theme. I guess I guess I got kind of bored just built making buildings. So I wanted to make a theme already. So I just made this one since this one was the closest to the park, the closest to the front. I mean, I just made this one. So you got the stage and the speakers and everything in there. Then you got the actual queue where the ride is going to be at further that way. This is the actual name. Full throttle. 
It's actually one of those more um, entertaining rides I've been on. I mean, it's it's, kind of, it's quite fun. More speakers. This is where the restaurant's gonna be at. All the more chairs and tables. I remember I saw a bunch of them right here. So I'll add those later on in another update. This is the the queue, the line where where it leads to the ride. Rides a little bit. The ride's gonna be a little bit further that way. So yeah, that's basically it for this area. Uh, it's more bushes in the background over there, some trees. Yeah, I'll show you this area now. This this area right here is um this is where the Mexican theme is at. And this is gonna be leading up to the X2 roller coaster. There's the bridge right there. I made it just like how it is in the actual park because first I just made this. Just to start. I just made these two centerpieces just to start. Then I looked at a picture and I was like, wait, that's not how it looks like, so I just started building them. I go off pictures on actual places just to see how they look like. And yeah, just more wall right here. I remember there's a bunch of pictures. Well, not pictures, but like paintings on these walls and like sculptural, like sculpts around them. And they had like a bunch of rides and their dates, like when they were built right here and further that way. So I'll probably do that in another update. And over here is where the X2 logo is going to be at, the actual ride. The X2 ride is going to be all the way over there. And it's going to be right next to the um, Viper ride, actually. Viper rides around this area right here. And then the X2 one's like over there somewhere. So yeah, this is where the, the, this is where the sign is going to be at. The X2 sign is going to be pointing an arrow this, this way into the area of the Panda Express. Panda Express is going to be... A little bit over there, I'm going to put more tables and chairs in another update. And then, I remember another path going that way, up to an, up, a hill, going uphill. And this is the bridge area leading to the ride, the actual ride. Yeah. And... I think that's basically it for this update. Yeah, this is the bridge. I'm gonna make it longer in another update. So yeah, this is basically it for the updates. Actually, the th the thing that took quite a long time to make was just lifting this ground up, just so I can have the bridge right there in this this plaza this plaza area, where you can just like sit and then eat. Yeah, the ground the ground just to lift the ground took a while to make. Yeah. This area, this area over here is going to be leading up to the X2, um, the X2, sorry, the Viper ride actually. I cut it off right here just to make this update. And yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to extend it further along, along that way. It's going to go all the way up there, a little bit further up. And then the ride, I think the entrance, the very entrance to the ride is going to be like somewhere around here. So yeah, that's basically it for this update. Um, in another update, I think I'm going to build more buildings further along. Actually, I haven't showed you this way. There's, no, there's nothing over here. I just extended the, some, the concrete a little bit over here. I'm going to have to remove that later in another update. I'll show you. Yeah, this area is basically blank. I'll extend it further. Next time, I'll show you another video. And I think this area right here is the Looney Tunes area. Or the... Toon Park, whatever the heck it's called, and that tree, the giant tree that used to be there, kind of bummed out that they removed that tree, because I really like that tree that was there. I know, I, I recently went to the park like a couple months ago, and I didn't see that tree there, and I was like, where's that tree? <laughs> because every time I go to the park, I see, I, I remember seeing that tree there, and I really like that tree, I mean, it's just just a symbol of California, the redwoods and all that stuff, and just to see it removed is like, I don't know, I don't know, I kind of got bummed out, but it's not really a big deal. Oh well, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, we got this dome shape right here for the full throttle theme. It, it's not really like a dome, kind of like half a dome, it's not really half a dome, it's just like, I don't know, it's just a weird shape they made. 
But it looks cool though. It looks like a entrance to like a stadium or something. NASCAR. I don't know. So yeah, that's basically it for this update. Yeah, I think I covered everything. Oh, actually this area I didn't show you. This is the, the picnic area. I specifically remember this area when I went like a couple years, actually the the one time I went a couple years back, um, my family took me to this picnic area. I would have never known this area existed if they never took me here. Because I remember seeing doors there every time I would pass through this plaza area. But I never knew what was in there until a couple years ago they took me into this private picnic area. And I was like, oh cool, it's, they have like this cafeteria here and everything where you can get your food and all that stuff. And it has a pretty good view of X2, to be honest. It's like right there. So, yeah, that's basically it for this area. And, yeah, this this main area is where we're gonna, where we're gonna see the loop of the revolution and a, a small section of taxi that's gonna be way up there and over here you're gonna be able to see the big loop from full throttle and yeah I'm actually, I'm actually for this map I'm actually looking forward to building the Superman ride I know because of Minecraft reasons I'm not gonna be able to make it accurately it's gonna be it's gonna be actually diagonally going up because Sadly, tracks can't go straight up walls in this game, so I wish they could. I wish they made like an update where you can like make a roller coaster actually loop and go up a wall so they so you can be able to imitate roller, your favorite roller coasters from whatever park you like. So yeah, that's basically it for this update. Um, I'll be doing another update soon, maybe in a couple weeks, if not next month. Hopefully in a couple weeks, or I don't know, maybe even sooner next week. So, if you wanna, if you wanna be updated, just please like the video, comment, subscribe if you wanna, if you wanna be updated about these these um, update videos. So yeah, this is the Six Flags Magic Mountain Minecraft map for the 360. So yeah. So if you like the video, again, please hit the thumbs up and. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.